Welcome to our channel. Today, we embark on a journey to the farthest corners of the globe, not to witness the vibrancy of life, but to explore the haunting beauty of what remains. These 12 abandoned places, each with its own unique and captivating story, stand as silent testaments to the relentless march of time and the enduring power of nature. From ancient cities swallowed by the earth to forgotten hospitals echoing with the whispers of the past, these sites offer a glimpse into forgotten worlds and invite us to contemplate the impermanence of even our grandest creations. Our journey begins amidst the sun-drenched plains of Myanmar, where the ancient city of Inwa slumbers in peaceful repose. Once a mighty capital city, home to Burmese kings and a flourishing center of culture and commerce, Inwa met its match not in the hands of invading armies, but in the unyielding forces of nature. In 1839, a series of devastating earthquakes shook the city to its core, leaving its magnificent structures in ruins and forcing its inhabitants to flee. Today, Inwa stands frozen in time, a ghost city haunted by the memories of its glorious past. Amidst this spectral landscape, one structure stands defiant against the ravages of time, the Bagaya Monastery. Constructed entirely of teak wood, this architectural marvel has miraculously survived the earthquakes and the subsequent abandonment. Our expedition takes us beneath the rolling hills of northern France to a subterranean world shrouded in darkness. Hidden within a limestone quarry lies Carrier Susan, a secret underground hospital from World War I. This sanctuary provided refuge for countless wounded soldiers. For decades, its existence remained forgotten until urban explorer Marc Ascat uncovered its secrets. He found a time capsule of war frozen in stillness. We navigate narrow corridors lined with rusting beds, each a silent witness to the horrors of war. Carrier Susan stands as a solemn reminder of the human cost of war. Our journey now takes us across the Atlantic to the vibrant nation of Brazil, where amidst the sprawling metropolis and verdant rainforests lies a testament to ambition unrealized, Cidade Albanoa. Conceived by the enigmatic politician Antonio Albano Reis, this sprawling theme park was intended to be a monument to entertainment, a kaleidoscope of joy and wonder. Reis envisioned a world of fantasy and escapism, but fate had other plans. With Reis's untimely passing in 2000, the lifeblood of the project seemed to vanish. Today, silence reigns over Cidade Albano. Weathered and worn, the structures stand like forgotten sentinels, their paint peeling, their windows like vacant eyes staring out at the encroaching jungle. Yet even in its incompleteness, Cidade Albanel retains a certain melancholic beauty, a testament to the boundless capacity of human imagination. Chapter 4, Aladdin Cole Tipple, A Legacy of Industry. Our expedition now takes us to the rugged landscapes of Wyoming, where the wind whispers tales of a bygone era. Here, standing as a solitary sentinel against the backdrop of the majestic Bighorn Mountains, we find the Aladdin Coal Tipple, a relic of a time when coal was king. Constructed in the late 19th century, the Aladdin Tipple was a marvel of engineering for its time, a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable thirst for energy. In 1941, the last load of coal rumbled down the Tipple's chutes, and the once mighty structure fell silent, abandoned to the elements. Recognizing its historical significance, a group of dedicated individuals banded together, determined to save this iconic structure from the ravages of time. Chapter 5, Silent Guardians, Montutapu Island Fortifications. Our journey now carries us across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean to the ruggedly beautiful shores of New Zealand, where, nestled amongst the rolling hills and windswept coastline, lie the Montutapu Island fortifications. Constructed during the dark days of World War II, the Montutapu Island fortifications were a product of a world gripped by fear and uncertainty. These fortifications, though never tested in the crucible of battle, stand as a stark reminder of the constant threat that hung over this corner of the world. 
Today, the Montutapu Island fortifications are a place of peace and reflection, a place where visitors can come to pay homage to the sacrifices made by those who served and to contemplate the fragility of peace in a world often consumed by conflict. Chapter 6. Karofsky, A Cautionary Tale of the Sea Our journey takes us to the windswept shores of Russia where the Arctic Ocean meets the Siberian tundra. Here on the Kola Peninsula we find the ghostly remnants of Karofsky, a once thriving fishing village. Overfishing led to the village's decline. By 1964, residents abandoned their homes, seeking new lives elsewhere. Today, Karofsky stands as a haunting reminder of the delicate balance between humanity and nature. Our journey now takes us deep into the heart of Europe, to a place shrouded in secrecy and mystery, a place where the echoes of the Cold War still linger in the air. Here, Hidden amidst the dense forests of Bresnica Colonia in Poland lies an abandoned Soviet nuclear base, a chilling reminder of a time when the world teetered on the brink of nuclear annihilation. Constructed under a veil of secrecy in the 1960s, this base was a key component of the Soviet Union's nuclear arsenal. The base was abandoned in the early 1990s, following the collapse of the Soviet Union leaving behind a legacy of secrecy and unanswered questions. Today, the base stands as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present danger of nuclear proliferation. Our journey takes an unexpected turn into the heart of North Carolina, USA, where reality and fantasy collide. Nestled amidst rolling hills and forests lies an abandoned movie set by James Cameron. Once the Cherokee nuclear power plant, it became the backdrop for his 1989 film, The Abyss. Nature has slowly begun to reclaim the site. Vines snake up the walls, reaching towards the sky. Beneath London's bustling streets lies a subterranean realm where time stands still. Hidden beneath King's Cross, the ice well played a vital role in Londoners' lives. Built in 1847 by Carlo Gatti, it was a marvel of Victorian engineering. Gatti created a subterranean world of ice and cold, storing massive ice blocks. Descending into the ice well, we are transported back to a world lit by gaslight. Our journey now takes us to the sun-drenched shores of Florida, USA, to a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Here, nestled amidst the palm trees and tropical foliage, lies the Nautilus Foundation, the brainchild of Francois Boucher, a polymath, artist, and visionary. Boucher envisioned the Nautilus Foundation as a sanctuary for artists, a place where creativity could flourish unhindered by the constraints of the outside world. He poured his heart and soul into the project, transforming a sprawling piece of land into a surreal landscape dotted with sculptures, murals, and architectural follies. Today, the foundation is privately owned and off-limits to the public, adding to the air of mystery that surrounds it. Despite the veil of secrecy, rumors abound about the treasures that lie hidden within its walls. Our exploration now takes us to the rolling hills of New Jersey, USA, to a place where childhood dreams and crumbling concrete collide. Here, Standing as a bittersweet reminder of a bygone era of amusement parks and roadside attractions lies the Gingerbread Castle, a once magical destination that has fallen into disrepair. Inspired by the whimsical world of the Brothers Grimm fairy tale Hansel and Gretel, the Gingerbread Castle opened its doors to the public in 1928. For decades, the Gingerbread Castle thrived, a testament to the power of imagination and the enduring appeal of classic fairy tales. But as the years turned into decades, the park's popularity began to wane. In the 1980s, the park closed its doors for good. Today, the castle stands silent and forlorn, its once vibrant colors faded by the sun, its walls covered in graffiti. Our journey concludes amidst the rolling hills and vineyards of Italy, where stands the Paragon Hotel, a testament to a bygone era of elegance and grandeur. Constructed in 1882, the Paragon Hotel was a masterpiece of neoclassical architecture, 
its facade adorned with intricate carvings, its balconies offering breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. The Paragon Hotel played host to the elite of Italian society, its grand ballroom echoing with the sounds of waltzes and laughter. But as the 20th century drew to a close, the Paragon Hotel's fortunes began to wane. In 2008, the Paragon Hotel closed its doors for the last time. Today, the Paragon Hotel stands silent and deserted, a ghost of its former glory. As we conclude our journey through these 12 abandoned places, we are left with a profound sense of wonder and melancholy. These sites, once teeming with life and purpose, now stand as silent testaments to the relentless march of time and the enduring power of nature. They remind us that even our grandest creations are ultimately transient, destined to crumble and fade, leaving behind only echoes of their former glory. Which of these abandoned sites would you be brave enough to explore? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Remember to hit subscribe and come back soon for another fantastic video.